What's going on everybody? My name is Eli and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So it's been a while since I started my YouTube channel. First video I uploaded, I think was around April 21st, 2021. Uh, back then it was like a couple months before I started dental school and I just wanted to get my channel started and kind of established before I got to dental school and started doing more vlogs and dental school vlogging and stuff. Back when I first started my channel and I didn't have the ability to make dental school vlogs yet because I hadn't started yet, I was kind of confined to making certain types of videos which involved me kind of sitting in front of the camera talking like I am now about different topics revolving getting into dental school paying for dental school and things like that things that i was able to talk about because i had recently been dealing with solving those issues myself but now i recognize that we have a lot more followers and subscribers that tune into the channel and a lot of you may not actually have watched any of those videos or really know that much about me my journey to dental school uh, and kind of what inspired me to start my channel to begin with so someone had actually suggested that I do like a get to know me video or like a Q&A and I figured, you know, that's a good idea even though I've done similar things in the past. You know, we, we just recently passed 2,000 subscribers. There's a lot more people here that tune in that just watch my vlogs but they, not, may, they may not know much about me besides what they see in my dental school vlogs. So to reintroduce myself, my name is Eli. I'm a second year dental student at Boston University Henry M. Goldman School of Dental Medicine. I attended undergrad at the University of Maryland College Park, and I also did a post back program at George Mason University and Georgetown Universities. It's a dual program called George Squared. Um, I'm definitely a non-traditional dental student. Uh, I graduated undergrad in December of 2017. I started dental school in July of 2021. So I am in the class of 2025 for dental school. I made a channel like this because I felt like for people that look like me, sometimes uh, along the journey to dental school, you may find yourself in front of a, a brick wall essentially. And the brick wall could be anything. You're not doing well in your classes. You can't find anyone in your classes that you relate to, that you can study with. Uh, you can't really seem to kind of get noticed by your professor. Um, and then when it comes to applying to dental school, that leads to things like you may not perform that well in undergrad. You may not know if you have any professors that could really write a good recommendation letter for you, etc. cetera. Um, if you're in that kind of position, I've been there before and I kind of wanted to make this channel just to show people that you can overcome those obstacles and still go to dental school and still be successful in dental school. Um, I feel like last year, a lot of people were surprised to see that I could be present and attend my school and do well in school while also maintaining a YouTube channel. And, um, you know, now that I'm in my second year, I feel like I can really show people like you can you can not only just get here, but you can succeed once you get here. You know, like just because you didn't graduate undergrad with a 3.0, it doesn't mean you're going to fail out of dental school once you finally get there, you know. So that leads me to go say more about my undergraduate experience. Um, I have another video where I talked about this, uh, where I talk about how to get into dental school with a low GPA. Um, I graduated undergrad with a 2.97 GPA cumulative, and my science GPA was probably around a 2.6. When I first graduated undergrad, I was kind of in the position of wanting to uh, go to med school, not dental school. And I didn't really know what road I was going to take to get there. But um, essentially, I decided to start working and I did like a, a, a program at NIH where I was doing research in a lab. And I thought that that would be, you know, really good for strengthening my application to med school. And, you know, I just just got barely under 3.0 and I could still make it, you know, I was optimistic. So was working at NIH uh, for like a year and a half. And I decided, okay, I'm avoiding what's absolutely necessary. I have to show that I can perform in a classroom, get some better grades, and then apply to, at the time, was still medical school. And so I decided to apply to two programs, George Squared, which is where I did my post back, 
and uh, the Drexel Pathways to Medicine program, which is a one year master's that is linked to their med school. Um, while I was working at NIH as an adult, I decided to go back and get braces. When I went back and got braces, I met my first black dentist, orthodontist, really any healthcare provider, my orthodontist. And um, I started to develop a fascination for like my braces and like teeth and seeing someone that looked like me working in the field, like really put that vision in, in, in motion that like that was something that I could do. Um, and so I decided that if I didn't get into the Drexel Pathways in Medicine program and I ended up doing G squared, that I would at least explore my interest in dentistry. So I ended up getting accepted to a different program at Drexel, but it wasn't the Pathways to Medicine one, which is what I wanted to do. And I decided, okay, I'm gonna take a look into dentistry. And I asked my cousin, who's a dentist in Georgia, if I could come down and shadow her for a week. The unique thing about my shadowing experience is that I got to live with my cousin. So I got to see everything about being a dentist, running a practice, life as a dentist outside of work, etc. And I was completely sold then. So that's, you know, in a nutshell, how I switched from pre-med to pre-dent after college. So next obstacle that I already knew I was going to have to face, whether it was for applying to med school or dental school, was what am I going to do about my grades? So I had to do a post back. My general advice to people that are trying to apply is if you have under a 3.0, you should do a post back program. Even if you try to get around the system and like get accepted, dental school is hard. And honestly, I don't think I was prepared in undergrad. I do think that I needed the post back to really feel prepared and ready to tackle this curriculum because it's a lot to balance. It's a lot of work. And honestly, taking a few years off of school, I developed the maturity that I needed to be able to handle this. And that's why I'm able to balance school and YouTube and manage my time well and do all the things I want to do. So I did the post back program and and also I don't know I feel like I had this preconceived notion that like if you do a post back program you gotta you gotta you know kick his you gotta really do it, you know what I mean? Like you gotta get a four point and I was, I was, that wasn't right either. Like in my post back program, I got a 3.3. .3. Granted, like the classes were hard and a 3.3 .3 is a B plus average. But still, you know, you don't have to be a perfect 4.0 student. You have to, you know, be well-rounded, perform well on the DAT, show that you really want it. You know what I mean? So when I applied to dental school, I think my cumulative GPA was a 3.02 when you count my undergrad and my uh, post back and my science GPA, I don't even know, maybe like a 2.8 or 2.9. So, you know, those are those are real stats. Like, I don't even know if I have my transcript from George Mason, but like these are not fabricated. Like, that's really what was on my ad sass. And that just goes to show you, like, yes, you, you can get to dental school with a relatively low GPA, but it's more than trying to just beat the system. You have to really show that you want it. And that applies in all areas. Yes, they look at all areas of your application, but that doesn't mean that one necessarily outweighs the other, you know? So anyway, um, applied to dental school. Uh, I think I applied to 12 schools. Do I have the list? Maybe I can find the list for y'all. I have the list. So, the schools that I applied to dental school, and I'll tell you if I was selected for an interview or not. Okay, Boston University, obviously attending now. Case Western Re Reserve University, didn't, didn't get an interview there. USC, didn't get an interview there. Howard, I got an interview there, but I didn't attend. Meharry, I got an interview there, but I didn't attend. NYU. I got an interview there, but I didn't attend. University of Iowa, didn't get an interview there. Tufts University, uh, I got an interview there for, they wanted to interview me for the class of 2026, which would be first year dental students now. And they sent me that interview invitation after I'd already like put my 
deposit down for BU and everything. So I didn't I didn't attend that one either. And that's pretty much uh, the reason why I didn't attend any of the other interviews as well. But if I could go back in time, I would have attended all of them except except for the one for Tufts, unless it was for this year. Well, the year that I'm in. Um, Rutgers University denied. University of Maryland denied. VCU, I interviewed there and I decided not to attend. And then Temple University denied. So those were the 12 schools I applied to. I received interview invitations from six out of the 12. And, you know, I just told you all my stats. So, you know, that's, that's not pretty bad. I'm, I'm like shooting 50% from the field. So that's why I always encourage impl- applying to a broad range of schools that you know you have a good chance at. Downloading the IDEA Dental School Explorer and looking at the stats of the people that uh, they usually accept for the last class, etc. It can really help you judge where you, where, you, uh, where you match up compared to other applicants that end up getting into those schools. Um, so, more about me. Uh, hmm, I don't know. How far back should I take it? Uh, the things that matter, I guess. High school, I, well, I'm from Baltimore, Maryland. I attended high school, uh, attended high school there. I don't, I don't think I need to tell y'all all that. Uh, played basketball all four years in high school. Um, went to college at University of Maryland. Crossed Alpha Phi Alpha at University of Maryland uh, in fall 2015. Uh, served on the Charles, Charles Drew Pre-Health Executive Board. At University of Maryland, that's like the minority pre-health club at University of Maryland. Um, I was president of uh, my chapter for Alpha my senior year at Maryland. Um, Yeah. So after that, I worked at NIH for a year and a half doing research there. And I should have a publication coming soon, hopefully. Yeah, it takes a little while, but, you know. Better late than never, honestly. Uh, after I worked at NIH, I did my post back program at George Squared, George Mason and Georgetown Universities. Um, and then another year for the application cycle, I worked during research, doing research at University of Maryland School of Medicine. And then I started at Boston University and now I'm in my second year. So, um, that's basically a summary about me. Uh, I would say, you know, if you are watching this video because you're looking at how you might want to go about trying to get into dental school with a low GPA, definitely check out my video. Uh, it's probably the most popular video on my channel, how I got into dental school with a low GPA. I talk about where I interviewed, where I applied and things like that and how I knew where to apply knowing that my stats were lower and um, the type of DAT score that you need, the type of resources that you may look towards to uh, help you get in, things like that. So definitely check out that video on my channel when you're done watching this if that's a topic you're interested in. Of course, I'll have it as a video card. I'll link it, all that good stuff. Um, Also, uh, DAT videos, I have them on my page as well. Um, In general... If you're new to the channel, this channel is really just to show people like what it's like being a non-traditional dental student, tackling dental school, show you guys the kind of stuff we do, um, and really just to you know show people that it's possible. It's kind of it, really. Um, obviously, you know, tips and all that. I'm always here for it. People reach out to me all the time, and you know, I help whoever I can. There's definitely people that reached out to me last year that are in dental school now. There's people reaching out to me now that I know are going to be in dental school like next year and the next two years. It's really nice just to see like, you know, everybody's dreams come true. Like, it's amazing. Like, I remember that feeling. I remember how great it felt. And I'm glad that other people get to feel that feeling as well. So, you know, always here for making better, better doctors, uh, a better field for healthcare, bettering my people. The more of us that look like dentists, the more people that look like me will go to the dentist and get over their fear of the dentist. We can start tackling those, you know, generational uh, fears and, um, you know, 
stereotypes about certain healthcare professions and reasons why people, you know, black people don't necessarily trust the healthcare system, especially in the United States, given its history. Um, you know, we can be the part of the change of that. So always here to help. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that this video kind of told you a little bit about me and gave you kind of an insight of who I am and the type of person I am. Of course, always feel free to comment, you know, follow me on other platforms. You kind of get to see more of my personality outside of YouTube. Uh, but, you know, this is me. I hope you guys watch this channel because you enjoy me as a person or the type of content that I make and put on YouTube. And either way, thank you for 2,000 subscribers and let's keep this show going. See y'all in the next video. Peace.